We are amazing people. We have a destiny. This destiny has been preordained by God. That's why we are called as predestined people. We are the elect, the chosen. God chose us before the foundation of the world. You are such an amazing person in the sight of God. There's nothing that the powers of darkness, the powers that are in this earth can do against you. That is why God has given us an opportunity to enter the realm of God. You know the realm of God is an amazing realm. It's a place where the power, the omnipotence of God is always there. He's always manifesting. Anybody who enters the realm of God will no more see limitation. His thinking will become unlimited. He'll be thinking like Jesus. And it is possible for you to enter the realm of God because as Jesus is, so are you in this world. Never forget 1 John 4 and verse 17. As he is, so am I in this world. You may be living in this world with a mortal body. God says, be transformed. Romans 12 and verse 2, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that's what you got to do. You know what's the meaning of the word transform? The Greek word transform is metamorpho. And the word metamorpho is the same term which was used when Jesus Christ was transfigured in the Mount of Transfiguration. You know what happened to Jesus? His clothes changed. His face changed. My dear child of God, the disciples with him were shocked because they could see something amazing. His face was so bright. My dear child of God, that's the meaning of metamorpho. That's the meaning of being transformed. Before their own eyes, they could see a new Jesus. In the same way, the Paul is using the same word, be transformed. And that's what today God wants you to do. You got to work for that. It just doesn't happen like that. You got to work for that. You got to sacrifice. You got to be focused on the topic. I'm going to be transformed, Lord. I'm going to sacrifice everything. Paul says, I count all things as done everything that I have I count all things as dung that I may know him and the power of his resurrection my dear child of God it pays to know God it pays to know the love of God it pays to know the supernatural realm the way you can do it is by renewing your mind the term renew is composed of two terms re plus new that means it's new your old mind filled with garbage and limited thinking natural thinking carnal thinking is made new and that's what today the word can do for you in your life because the Bible says the word of God which has been given to you is number one alive alive means it's working it is working to do what it's supposed to do number two it is powerful which means omnipotence is working to make the word do what God has promised to do in your life and today it is time that you grasp this word you get all out to know this word you be hungry for this word as a deer panted for the water so pant for the living word of God the awesome word of God the miracle working powerful word of God and let that word begin to work inside your mind and inside your spirit and let your mind be transformed when your mind is transformed when your mind is renewed you will be transformed you will be able to think like God thinks I've already told you that you have the mind of Christ that's the last verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 we have the mind of Christ and because you have the mind of Christ you can think like Christ you can love like Christ you can act like Christ you can do all things like Christ Jesus said if you believe in me not only will you do my works but you'll do greater works than what I did now here's an opportunity for us to do not only the works of Jesus but a greater works than what Jesus did and the simplest way is walk in the realm of God walk in the realm of miracles walk in the realm of power walk in the realm of the supernatural walk in the realm of faith, walk in the realm of glory, walk in the realm of holiness, walk in the realm of rest, walk in the realm of righteousness, my dear child of God. That's why it's time you understand that the mortal body, the works of the flesh have to be put to death. Put to death your members which are upon the earth. Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. So go all out, don't waste time, become hungry for the awesome, powerful 
powerful anointed word of god and i'm telling you god's going to help you for his god that worketh inside you both to will and to do of his good pleasure so be blessed you're going to see amazing miracles your children are also going to be flooded with his amazing mighty power and you're going to walk in his love and his faithfulness and his anointing all the days that you live in planet earth remember there's a great destiny awaiting you in this world and also the world to come you have been born for eternity you have been born to live with christ forever and ever so let your eyes be always on eternity focus all your thoughts on eternity and for the glorious future that god has planned for us not only in this world but in that which is to come may god bless you may your children be blessed may everything that you have be blessed maranatha